Yeah, I'm still drinking this hoo hoo. Didn't even make it halfway yet, to be honest. Anyway, hey guys, my name is Jay Fears, welcome to another video, and today we are reacting to Stupid Lies I Believed for Way Too Long. Now, I never believe. I don't think I believed in any. Yeah, I don't think I've ever believed in any kind of lie. Um. Yeah, I never really believed in anything for way too long. And if I. Even, even if I did, I probably, like, figured it out the next day because my mom would always. I would always ask my mom, like, a question every day. And she'd always have the answer for it. Now I'm older and she says, use Google. <laughs> or just use the internet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Jane Animations and myself. And yeah, let's get right into this video. Well, would you look at that? The first video I'm posting in 2017. Yeah. And here we can look back at this video and say, we had no idea what we had coming. So another year has passed, which means we're all one year older, which means we're growing as people, which I, yeah, this is a stretch. I didn't have a transition. As a youngster, I was prone to believing people pretty much unconditionally, as with Yeah, like I said, I don't believe, I just had I too much trust anything. for my own good. Like, oh, why would anyone have any reason to lie to me? The world is full of nothing but nice people and purity. <laughs> That's a lie. Of course, I've grown out of that mentality. <laughs> it's too and late I'm a lot more cautious. But for a while, people could just tell me things and I just believe them. I got Donuts thinking about all the fruit. ridiculous things people put in my head that I stored as facts, and I decided to make a list of the craziest ones. And also, just letting you know, I was, like, younger than seven in all of these stories. Don't worry, I didn't just find out these things aren't true, like, a couple months ago or anything. When I was in first grade, for some reason, my mom told me aluminum foil is poison, and if I ever bit it, I'd die. A Technically, strange, if you do bite it and you have like metal in your it. mouth, then apparently yes. biting foil can induce a galvanic then shock. Yes. Basically, yeah, yeah, like if the shock. foil comes in contact with braces, metal fillings, yeah, like any of that, that, the metals will react with each other and create a little electric shock. You have but all powers. I knew as a kid was teeth, contact with aluminum foil. Death. And I was petrified. I didn't even have braces or anything metal in my mouth at the time, so nothing would have even happened if I tried it. I also remember going to school the next day and telling my friend, Did you know that if you bite aluminum foil, you'll die? And she goes, I think I've been Whoa. fooled before. And oh crap, like, she's still alive. Grasshoppers exactly. spit acid in your shoes. This one probably needs explaining too. I was at recess with some friends and we were running around in the grass. I like Jaden's like on. hairstyle. When we went back to put them on, there was a little grasshopper sitting at the bottom of my right shoe. Guys, look, a cute little grasshopper is wearing my shoe. And one of my friends goes, Oh my god, grasshoppers spit acid! Get it out! And then we all start panicking at the fact there was a death grasshopper in my I shoe. I know. I looked up why she could have thought that, and it actually is a fact that grasshoppers can spit a brown liquid to protect themselves from predators. It's called tobacco juice, and even though it's slightly acidic, the worst it really can do is stain your clothes. It's pretty much harmless. But oh, dude, no. I had the image in my head of some breaking bad hydrogen. You were gonna burn to death. everything it touches kind of meme. Also, just saying, I didn't mean the drug acid, even though that could be equally terrifying. Oh, God. Speaking of staining clothes, I was at lunch one day with the rest of my class, and one boy took out a bag of pomegranate seeds his mom packed for Pomegranate seeds. A lot of seeds. us hadn't seen them before because it's you have a, a good old sandwich and So it apple. caught some attention, and we were all asking a bunch of questions like, about them. The boy I said, did you know seeds. pomegranate seeds can stain your clothes, and it'll never come out? <gasps> That's a lie. <gasps> That must be one powerful So we have oxyclean. It never comes out. Just a never tough ever stain. forever. <laughs> Not even with the power of... Oxyclean laundry stain remover. Exactly. The tough stains out. And yeah. And then the kid eat a bag of pomegranate seeds sitting sideways with the seeds on the space next to him because he didn't want to spill them on himself. Looking back, it was definitely just his mom exaggerating because she didn't want to have to deal with the stains and laundry. A slight parenting trick if I do say so myself. It's weird no, to it think she's matter. out there somewhere she told and she doesn't me, even realize she accidentally stain. taught me that lesson. To. This one's actually kind of common to believe, and I think a lot of people have been passing this myth around for a long time. Sitting too close to the TV is bad for your eyes. I did research on this one as well, and I, mean, I don't sit might close seem to, my, like it could to the be TV. True, TV there's like apparently no actual away, evidence crap. that sitting in front of the TV is damaging to your eyes. But oh, little old Jane believed it, and you know what I did with that information? 
stand directly in front of the TV. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, when I was younger, I really, really wanted glasses. I don't know where that came from. I just liked the look of glasses and wanted them. So when no one was looking, I would go up to the TV screen and stare at so it. So you like want to blind yourself. This will get me glasses. But it didn't work, obviously. I actually have really good eyesight. Maybe standing too close to the TV will improve your vision. But yeah, well, I'm glad you... my eyesight sabotage plan didn't work because having glasses just seems like a hassle and inconvenience. Tip of the hat to anyone out there with glasses or contacts or even glass eyes that are annoyed by them. Wish you the best. We people without those things forget how good we have it. This one's a bit related because it's about eyeballs again. If you try to use your eyes to look back into your head at your brain, they'll get stuck and you'll be blind forever. It's it's a bit of a spin-off of the other eyeball myth of if you cross your eyes too much, they'll get stuck like that. I never believed that one, but I, I believe Yeah, I did believe one. like when I turned my eyes. If you tried to look at the back of your head with your eyes, you, you might be able to brain. see your brain. And we spent the whole day trying to do it. Then when I went home, Technically, I asked my mom about because it, there's and something she said, a wire Don't do in that. Your eyes. They'll get stuck. I think I believed it so quickly because if you try, it does kind of hurt your eyes a bit because they're not really supposed to be able to look back into your head like that. And I thought that was like your body saying, don't push it, don't this do is a warning. It. And even to We're this day, I'm a it. bit nervous pushing my eyes to their rotation limit. Well, I don't know I'm, I'm not doing that. I know it's not that. true, but it's still always in the back either. of my mind, which I'll never be able to see. And finally, the most ridiculous thing I believed... So, I don't know how this happened. No one told me this. I don't understand where I went wrong here. But, somehow I ended up confusing the disease tetanus with AIDS. I don't know how I did that. Back Wait, then, I didn't what? even know what AIDS was. And yes, tetanus I am considered with a AIDS? PG channel for the most part. So, if you're a youngster watching and you don't know what AIDS is, your parents will explain it more in a few years. It's a disease that... You don't need to worry about for the time being. Only adults should need to worry about it. So yeah, I thought tetanus was called AIDS. The disease that you can get from an infected cut was called AIDS to me. And the worst thing about it is this one time someone accidentally cut themselves on a rusty shovel, and I have the memory <laughs> you have of saying, AIDS. careful, you could get well, AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> How did this happen to me? I don't Infinite understand cringe. what went wrong. How do I mix those two things up? But whatever. I know the difference now, and that's all that matters. But I do sometimes mix up saying tetanus and tetris. Careful, you could get tetris. I ended up learning a lot while making this video. You can get that just get a hold of blocks lies. together. I'm gonna tell you a truth I found out recently. Real quick, since this is the end card. So a friend asked me, what's the purpose of pink lemonade? And I was like, good question. So I looked it up, and I'm not talking about the lemonade from strawberries or any fruit to change the color. Classic pink lemonade. So apparently, pink lemonade originated because a long time ago, way back in the day, there was a concession guy selling lemonade at a circus. And he ran out of water and he had to hurry and find some more, and there was no river or stream nearby. And he found that a performer had just washed their red tights in some water, which turned it pink. So he used that pink water to make more lemonade, and just told people it was a special strawberry type lemonade. And he sold a bunch more lemonade. So next time you drink pink lemonade, the image of dirty circus tight water might pop in. That is not what I meant press. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed that video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Jane Animations and myself. That was awesome. What do y'all believe in? Did y'all believe in anything? And if you did, like, what was it? And if you didn't, then what's your religion, I guess? And, um, yeah, goodbye, my fellow reactors. Stop.